Kim. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla. And I'm Holden. And we are the, the Dean team. team. And we are here in Atlanta and we are checking out the world of Coca-Cola today. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! This gives you the city pass information and all of the attractions that are included. World of Coke, Georgia Aquarium, and the Center for Civil and Human Rights are right in this same area. And the College Football Hall of Fame is also very nearby. And then this shows you what the price would be full price and then what you're saving with the city pass. So it's saving 44%. some of the artifacts in this room and some of Coca-Cola's history. Let's have a round of applause for Coca-Cola. All right, so now we're going to play a little game. Let's see who can try to guess which of these artifacts is the oldest in this room. I'll give you a hint. When you want to store something that's antique and keep it in mint condition, you put it behind glass in a glass wall or a glass case to keep it safe. So it's in one of these two windows behind me. The oldest artifact in this room is, drum roll please, Coca-Cola Syrup Dispenser from 1896. When we first arrived, we went straight into a theater and they did a six minute movie and it was very inspirational, all about how Coke touches people's lives. It was really, really nice and it was nice to be in the AC. And now we're gonna head into the actual world of Coca-Cola and see what everything is. It's very busy, a lot of people, but there's a lot of helpful staff here to help you navigate where to go. John S. Pemberton, an Atlanta pharmacist, tinkered for years in his laboratory trying to create successful products for everyday use. In the spring of 1886, he was working on a new soft drink recipe, and the experiment paid off. He didn't live to enjoy its remarkable success because he sold the company in 1888 and died shortly thereafter. In 1887, Asa Kamler sampled his first Coke and he resolved to buy the company and he launched an unprecedented array of marketing activities that transformed the drink into a household name. How much was a dozen eggs? 32 cents. How much was a toothbrush? I think it was more than most because whenever he goes. 25 cents. Wow. The hotel was a dollar. What? In Atlanta, no less. Um, original Lee family custom ordered this 1939 Chevrolet panel van to assist with delivery in Buenos Aires. Skilled operator could process $350 per hour. Wait, what's it? Where's the thing going? Oh, look. Okay, go ahead. I'm assuming that thing would come down and bottle it. That's, okay, that's what my thought, too. It says the well-known Coca-Cola contour bottle was conceived in Indiana, designed in 1915. It had to be made thinner to fit bottling equipment before it was introduced to the public in 1916. It didn't get a trademark until 1977. In the game we just played, if you would drink a bottle of Coke with your friends, you would look at the bottom to see where it was from, and whoever's was the farthest away, like, let's say I got South Carolina and you got Texas, you would win. The sounds of refreshment. Open it up, let's see. Oh, he said, oh, excuse you. Wait. Can I put a nickel in there? See if I can come out. You're hoping for a Coke? This just makes me want to get a Coke out of a machine. I'm ready to go taste some Cokes. Yep. Well, both of these are a little bit weird. That's the cover of Time Magazine. First commercial product to appear on the cover of Time. A Coca-Cola with yo-yo. Oh, yeah. These are the Olympic torches, and it says, Coca-Cola is the longest continuous supporter of the Olympic movement. Here's the one from Atlanta. I want the McDonald's one. Of course you would spot the McDonald's one. Does this make you want to do some Disney pin trading? No, I love all my pins, so. You're not giving any of them up. What are you doing over here, Skyla? I'm looking. At Coke's products, all the Coke products. I don't think you can possibly see with how quick you're rotating. Did you know 
that Orange Fanta was the second Coca-Cola product? I did not. And you all love Orange Fanta. Yeah. Look at all of these products that they have. Minute Maid Orange? That's a lot. Yeah, Minute Maid is a Coke product too, apparently. Sprite. Of course. Sprite's the best. Tau. Oh, I know. You can see the line for the vault down there, so I'm not sure if we're going to head in there. That's where they keep the recipe. We were very unprepared for how long the lines are today for everything. So we're trying to do it all, but it's tough. It says you can do the museum in two hours, but there's no way with how the lines are no. today because like, the line for scent discovery has to be 30 minutes just At to do least. that one thing. We're going to do what we can today and be happy with what we are able to do. And if we can't do something, we'll show you what it is and try to give you our best reaction to it from afar. Hold it. What's pop culture to mean to you? Music. Music? It's a genre of music. Oh, like pop music. Gotcha. Well, all of this is pop culture. Popular culture of all kinds. These are some awesome co-creations. Do y'all see the giraffes? Wow. There's a soccer ball. There's a Howard Finster in this collection, and we actually have a little Howard Finster at our house. So he is an amazing artist, and it's really cool to see that here. Did you know Santa loves Coke as much as he loves milk and cookies? Maybe we should leave that Coke for him. Maybe we should. That would be my living room when I grow up, but at McDonald's instead. Oh, okay. Holden wants this, but like a collector's corner, but just McDonald's stuff. That's what he wants. What is special about this sofa? It was used on the set of American Idol in season four, 2005. Awesome. Are you chilling, bud? Chilling, bud. making some yeah, cool art. There's Skyla's design. Awesome job. Okay, okay, go ahead, hold it. I like the motif you're going with, Holdy. Very nice. Very pop arty. Awesome, buddy. You did it. You want to email it? Okay. Oh, look. That is cool. If you download this QR code onto your phone, it makes the art come to life wherever the bottles are. That's really neat. I'm so glad Skyla pointed this out. I would have never even known. What's on this one? That's so cool. They ask you to tell your Coke story. What does drinking a Coke remind you of? Grandma. Grandma? Drinking a Coke reminds me of my grandma because she drinks one because she drinks one every day. She definitely does. I wrote, drinking a Coke reminds me of my grandma. She drinks one every day. I love that you wrote the same exact thing as your brother. He wrote that? Yeah, he did. It's so funny that the kids both put the same thing about my mom drinking Coke because she is totally my core memory of Coke, is my mom drinking a Coke pretty much almost every day. When we started buying her presents, we would buy her the glass bottles of Coke because she said those taste better than any other kind of Coke. So anytime we see glass bottle Cokes, we have to grab them from my mom. We give them to her for like Mother's Day, Christmas, other things too, but she always lights up when she gets those. So my core memories of Coke are definitely about my mom. What are yours? Put it in the comments. We would love to see. Oh, okay. We're doing the Coca-Cola challenge. No, there's four challenges. Okay. Rotate the rings to solve the puzzle. Oh, I get it. Okay. Make the picture. Oh, you're doing like a match the Coca-Cola company brand. So it says this is citrus. Very citrusy. Orange. Oh, my God. oh look. Oh, I get it. 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 Oh, I get
get it. Okay. So that's what you used in. So it's a guessing game. It's so turn it around, bud. Ugh, Diet Coke. Bitch, no. I have to Let's see what fruity smells like. Really Wonka when they're all putting their face on the wall. The snozzberries taste like snozzberries. Which one's that, Skyla? Do the raspberries smell like raspberries? Yes. In a very strong yes. way. Look, this smells like Emmett's flying couch. Oh, it smells like Emmett's flying couch? What is it? You know what I thought that one did too? Maybe oh that my is. Gosh. It's the scent of Emmett's flying couch at Legoland is watermelon. Smell different fruities? This smells like my tea and it's chamomile. Boom! Yeah, that smells like the mint tea. Yep. But oh, I gotta it. get past the tea. <laughs> yeah, you're not a tea drinker like me and Goldie. Ooh, that's yeah, these are, you're getting into the herbaceous and the woody. We're past the fruity and floral. Oh, yeah. So it starts with the fruity and floral, goes to the herbaceous, and then woody and spicy. You all are about to embark on a scent challenge, and this is how it works. We're going to press down repeatedly on the buttons and smell them <laughs> at the same time. So we're going to get started. Before we do, everyone do me a favor. Can everybody say, wake up, Bubbles? Wake, wake up, up, Bubbles! Wow. Wow. What's up, Bubbles? So we're going to start by pumping and spelling A1. A1. Pump it. A1. Pop it. A1, A1, A1. Pull it. it. Smells like a fruit smoothie. Okay. Now, as you smell it, it should remind you of a tropical fruit that you may be able to find in summertime beverages. Mango. Your mango. Your dragon fruit. Your dragon fruit. Your dragon fruit. Your lemon. Peach. Peach. She wasn't confident in that. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Mango. 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 Yeah, it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Sweet tea. Yeah. <laughs> Holden's got his nose <laughs> right up on it. All right, friends, you all overthought it because it's fruit punch. Oh, okay. One of everything. One of everything. Because we had now, said lemonade. Then the yeah. panels tell Take lemonade. Friends that have this is giving you the scent profiles, which look like Rorschach tests a little bit. Bon bon anglaise. What did we think of the 3D show? It was very bright, strobe lighting, flashing. Do you remember the U's that we learned? They taught us the, the four U's of Coca-Cola. Like you can get it anywhere. <laughs> yep, it was, what was it? Universal availability, uniform taste, and then like unbelievable flavor. Un like un Unforgettable flavor. Unforgettable taste. Uniform quality, universal availability, and then what was the fourth U? You! You! Because we make Coke what it is. But yeah, it's we. only an eight minute show, so very quick. But Holden was doing the, the 3D show grab, so it was fun. You can meet the Coca Cola polar bear, but the line's very long, so we're just gonna say hi from afar. Yeah, we're just gonna give a little wave from over here. But he's over there. He's so happy. And he really blinks and his tongue comes out. Oh yeah, he is cool. That's awesome. I feel like y'all have been waiting for this part all day. Let's go taste some sodas. There are like five or six stations. We're gonna hit them all. pours this big. Scott drank so much soda the last time we were here and he felt so sick walking out into hot Atlanta afterwards. So take little taste. You don't need a massive taste. Also, do you call it soda or pop? I grew up in Ohio, so I was definitely a pop person, but now I've lived in the South for more than half my life. So I'm soda all the way. And it's soda pop, so everyone's right in my opinion. But what do you say? Let us know in the comments. Cucumber Sprite, it's delicious. Is it more refreshing Very, than normal Sprite? I would say yes. What was your favorite at this station too? That was really good. The chili? Yeah. Lift? Huh. What is that one? Oh, Pineapple Fanta from Greece. That was really good. This one's delicious. 
delicious. This one's delicious. I haven't tried the rest yet. Have you liked everything so far? <laughs> I like how you're clutching your stomach already. out of the aquarium but we have to show you how beautiful the world of coke is at night today has been an epic day because not only did we do world of coke but we also went over to georgia aquarium so it's actually nine o'clock now and drove from south carolina in the same day because we're crazy <laughs> we don't go hard on vacations at all never never a dull moment <laughs> But thank you so much for joining us at World of Coca-Cola. It was just so busy today. Scott and I have been here before and it wasn't nearly as busy, so we were just taken aback by it. There were tight spaces to get through. We still saw everything today, other than meeting the polar bear and going inside the vault, which I'm pretty amazed because we got here at three o'clock and we stayed until around five. We could have definitely stayed longer with how long the lines were. It says it takes about two hours, but I would leave yourself three-ish hours if you want to try to do everything. Yeah, if it's a busy day. Or you could also, of course, spend more time if you're reading a lot of the descriptions on the things like we experienced with Hershey Park in that museum, you could stay a long time and read a lot of the history. So if you're really a devout Coca-Cola history buff, you know, you could spend a lot more time here than we did with the kids who just look and run. And I'll put a link in the description to our experience at the Hershey Story Museum. That is incredible and in telling the story of Hershey's. And here, it is it is really awesome getting the story of Coca-Cola and of how it started and just how much it really is involved in so many parts of our life and the branding of it all. The most fun thing for the kids was the tasting room. Hands down, they loved it. That was so awesome. I loved the scent area where that you got cool. to smell everything. That was very cool. There are a lot of hands-on things to do. I think it's good for kids of all ages. I think there is something for everyone. We actually don't drink a lot of soda, but it's still a really cool thing to experience. And especially being in Atlanta, being in Georgia, Coca-Cola is such a huge thing here. This is something that is awesome to do if you have the city pass and even if not, Clearly tons of people come here because they were all here today. <laughs> I'll probably say it too many times with that city pass. It makes it just so much more affordable for a family to do it, to make it worth it. And I will pop the prices up on the screen so you can check it out. This is one of the more reasonably priced attractions in Atlanta. When I was checking out everything that there is to do for families, it is pretty reasonably priced, but that city pass, you just can't beat it. We're gonna have a whole series of vlogs with everything that we're doing around Atlanta. So be sure to check those out too. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you soon. And as always, keep